the Ripple case right now. Well, the Ripple XRP case, and I'm glad you asked because it's something I'm passionate about. Right. Today, and I want to make sure I get the number right. Today, Charles, we hit 68,250 people from 61 different countries around the world that have joined to fight wow. the SEC in their overreach and government intrusion. And I want to tell you something. There's a couple thousand of them that don't even own XRP. They just feel like you do. It's disgusting of what's happening. Right. I mean, you know, and by the way, I did see last time, uh, the, the last time there was a, the, anything from the courts uh, that the CEO of Ripple said had gone, quote, exceedingly well. The notion that so many people want to see this succeed, again, whether you're an investor or not, I think speaks to the idea of freedom, of innovation, of self-determination. And there are a lot of powerful forces out there that don't want to see that happen. Absolutely. And what I think what's happening is that cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin is one of the few times in history where the individual kind of front run the, the industry, if you right. will, in the hedge funds. And personally, I think the Gensler's attack on crypto is to allow the hedge funds and the Wall Streeters to come in, crash the market. They come in and then By the way, they, they do the that with the stock thing. market all the time, all the time. By the way, did you see a guy from Citadel, left Citadel to get in the crypto business? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. The regulators, the regulators leave and go to the crypto, too. All right.